at Bittybo, we just can't leave well enough alone. <laughs> you see, we think that sometimes people take life too seriously. That sometimes you forget to rejoice. You know, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice. Ha! And be glad in it. I'll laugh. I'll sing. I'll dance. I'll not take it too serious. So, what I would say to you today is check it out. Look around. Find something to laugh about. Sometimes you take life a little too serious. You need to lighten up. Let go. Don't be so wound up. Don't be so bound up. Find something a little less stressful and take a minute or two just to relax. Take it easy. You know, sit back, smell the roses, look around, have a cup of coffee. Maybe not too much coffee. <laughs> you know what happens when you take too much coffee? You get wound up. So we decided at Vidivo to wind down. That's Take our time. You know, man, light the candle, everything's all right. I owe this to Randy Stonehill. Shut the door, keep out the devil. Shut the door, keep the devil in the night. Shut the door, keep out the devil. Light the candle, everything's all right. Light the candle, everything is all right. <laughs> and in doing that, we're going to have fun. We're going to enjoy ourselves. We're going to start doing Ridden Hour. Ridden Hour is kind of a fun book. I grew up with a lot of these Fritz Ridden Hour books that were written in order to understand the Bible a little better, to enjoy it a little more, and to find that, guess what? <laughs> as old as they are, sometimes they fall apart. So this will be a lot of fun in order to go through it. This particular one will be can you see that? <laughs> it's from... Wow! <laughs> what a different way to use the internet today. So, we're going to read this, and then we're going to laugh about it, aren't we? Lord, I believe. Help my unbelief. Keeping the faith is definitely approved behavior in Christian circles. Whether you come in through the cradle door, or join the church as a teenager or adult, you constantly hear about the need to have faith. <laughs> Jesus talked a lot about faith. He was always looking for even the tiniest bit of faith in those he taught and helped. On one occasion, a father brings his demon-possessed son to Jesus. The boy foams at the mouth, <laughs> gnashes his teeth, and refuses to eat. Jesus asks the father, uh, how long will the child been this way? And he replies, since he was very small. The demon often makes him fall into the fire or into the water. Oh, have mercy on us and do something if you can. If I can, Jesus asks, anything is possible if you have faith. And then comes the father's classic reply, well, I do have faith. Oh, help me to have more. That was all Jesus needed. He cast out the demon and the child was healed right on the spot. See Mark 9, 17 through 27. The story has a happy ending, but you can't help but wonder if maybe the father was putting Jesus on just a little, you know, kind of like exaggerating. Because he said, according to one Bible translation, I believe, help my unbelief. But aren't we all like the father? We all have our doubts. We're not always too sure just how much faith we really have. You know, faith in people, faith in products, or even in God. Nowadays, you don't have faith in anything except for what you see on a video on the internet. <laughs> oh yeah, we're not into tabloids, but we read them every day. <laughs> we want access to our favorite movie stars. <laughs> Oh yes, we like to sound confident, but the doubts are still there. Yes, we believe the old jalopy will make it to the beach and back one more time. If the timing belt holds out, and if the rear tire doesn't blow, 
yeah, we believe we can stretch that one gallon into three gallons because we can't afford the price of gas. So we'll try it just to see if we make it. We believe the driver sees us at the crosswalk and will stop. That is, if he isn't texting <laughs> or fiddling with his radio or eating something or putting on makeup. We believe the doctor knows what he's doing and when he cuts us open, he'll put us back together again. Minus any sponges or instruments left inside or, you know, taking the wrong organ. <laughs> we believe a certain product will work well or last a long time because after all, didn't the salesman say so? Never mind the recall. <laughs> I think I recall that there's been recalls. Do you recall? Life quickly teaches us that machines, schemes, and people aren't to be trusted completely. Really? You think so? Golly, I think we have a comic book. <laughs> It's natural for the father of the demon-possessed boy to have doubts. But even Jesus looked him in the eye and said, Hey, anything is possible if you have faith. You know, the father wanted to believe. He desperately wanted his child to be well. But he still doubted that this fellow called Jesus could really do anything. He you know, was a little skeptical. At least, being honest, he was. And so he was honest and said exactly what was on his mind. I believe but I don't believe all the way. Help me believe more. Are you like that? Do you find yourself at some point in time believing that God is real, but not quite believing all the way? Do you believe that you know God could do something, but will he do something? Do you have doubts about it? Do you kind of wonder whether or not you know God will actually take care of you and bring you to heaven? Well, all I can say is get a grip. Laugh about it. Don't get so serious. Be real. Be honest. Say, hey, you know, God, I don't know. <laughs> Do like Jesus said in this story. Be honest. Be real. Straight up say, look, I know you could. I know you might. I know if it's in your will, but God, you know, I believe, but help me with my unbelief because if I'm really honest, if I'm really just kind of like, hey, kicking back, being real for just a few minutes, God, and I let down all my barriers and walls and ideas, I kind of have a problem with this Christian thing, you know, it's just a little bit over the top for me. So you're going to have to help me on this one. So. God, from now on, can we kind of make a bargain here? Can you kind of like help me to grow in faith? You know, and I'll meet you every day and maybe talk with you about it. And maybe I'll learn to be like these guys who have faith. <laughs> because frankly, Lord, uh, if they could do it, maybe I can too. Maybe you can. Maybe you just need to Lighten up a little. Be less serious about your faith and a little more rejoicing in it. Rejoice in the Lord and shut the door. Keep out the devil. <laughs> Everything's going to be all right. Trust me. Or, as I like to say, hey, don't trust me. Trust in the Lord. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. You don't have to figure it out. You just have to be about knowing what it says. So go read it. Check it out.